just want you to know that uh, this flag is presented by Maria Cantwell, Senator Maria Cantwell. Uh, I'm happy to join in with the welcome for this uh, energy summit. This is a very important conversation. We're going to be uh, addressing key questions like what kind of state we want to live in. Uh, what are we going to be providing our children and grandchildren? What kind of energy and environmental quality are we going to have in this state? So this is an important conversation on the journey to a more innovative uh, Washington State. Our commission, uh, which was set up three years ago by legislation and just affirmed again through new legislation the governor signed three weeks ago, we set out a very audacious, uh, audacious goal to make Washington State the most fertile, creative investment environment for innovation in the world by 2020. And the kinds of issues that are being addressed here help us get in that direction. We're going to have to focus on what I call the, the new I-5. We're going to have to focus on developing our intellect. We're going to have to focus on developing innovation. We're going to have to focus on investment. We're going to have to focus on internationalization. We're going to have to focus on image. So there are lots of elements that are involved in building an innovation economy. And we have to address that on a very, very broad front. Uh, this means that we're going to have to engage in boundary-spanning behavior, finding ways to collaborate. We're going to have to uh, draw on science and technology in a multidisciplinary kind of way. And more, most important, we're going to have to develop a workforce that is uh, tuned to the future, uh, helps us create, if you will, this new economy, these new industries that will drive the future of the state. Uh, we're a very lucky state in having a lot of accidental innovation. I mean, Bill Boeing, Bill Gates, 
uh, Amazon, you know, real networks, et cetera. Uh, but now we need to approach innovation in a little more systematic way. So what this conference is about is trying to answer some of those questions. Uh, we're, we plan to be engaged and follow up what comes out of this kind of meeting. I'm looking forward to the remarks that uh, Woodward's going to be giving on the future of uh, things like smart grid, what we're doing in energy. We have the largest smart grid experiment going on in the entire country. Uh, we have an opportunity to be, lead the nation on this kind of thing. So let me just conclude by saying um, we have to get out of this awful recession that we've been in. One way to do that is to innovate our way out. The future is not to go back to the past, but go to the future. We should not be afraid to lead. It's a question of building an ecosystem, a relationship capital, connections between government, private sector, uh, universities, apprenticeship programs, the Centers for Excellence, which has been doing an outstanding job for the state. And it's going to be the health of this ecosystem that's going to provide our competitiveness and provide for sustainable jobs and high-wage jobs and that kind of thing. And it's not about top-down. I mean, I'm here representing, uh, you know, state government. We're trying to build a consensus at the top, you know, in Olympia to try to get things together on the policy front. But we have to really rely on local bottom-up initiative. It's all going to happen from the ground up. So we're trying to create an environment, fertilize that ground uh, in order for you to be successful. So the future is a choice, the way we look at it, and uh, we need to make the right choices. Uh, I don't think it's about predicting the future. I think it's about inventing the future. Uh, it's all going to happen with the monsters that are here. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, nice to be here, and uh, look forward to participating in the conference. Thank you.